Get out. Now that, that's a loaf. French tea. So, haven't cooked much. Last thing I cooked was pancakes. G'day Brenda, Trudy. Tomorrow, um, that went okay after a failed bit of effort, but um, so, the world's worst veggie has to be these little green balls of, green balls of yuckiness, green balls of just tasteless, not, I don't know, there's nothing good I can say about a Brussels spray. It's a Brussels, Brussels sprout. There's nothing good I can say about it. So tonight, the, the, uh, the challenge is I've got to try and do something to make Brussels sprouts good, taste good. Since I was a kid, they've been my worst veggies. I even put them in a song, Uncle Pete. Uh, we had pie and chips, pie and chips at the, at the, at the, uh, at the truck stop and not a, Brussels, not a Brussels sprout in sight. I don't know why, I was walking through the, um, I was walking through the supermarket today and I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna to cook tonight for dinner. And I saw them and I just, every time I go past the Brussels sprouts, it's like, yeah, yeah, what, what are they even there for? Why are they even on the shelf for? Right. Um, I've got to, you know what they say about overcoming your fears, all right? I've got to conquer the fear. I mean, I like cabbage, right? And it's kind of like a little baby cabbage. Look at it, it's, I mean, it is cute. If I, if I look at it like that, I think, oh, that's a cute little veggie. That'd be nice to eat. And then you pop it in your mouth and it's like, oh, God. So, we're gonna, we're gonna try and conquer this. It's not a fear. It's a, we're gonna overcome the Brussels sprout curse tonight. All right, everyone. I've got a handful. I've got a pot here with some water. So we're gonna, I am going to oh, cook them up first. I put the pan on already. I forgot, so it's getting hot. So I'll put this one on. Turn that off. Put some oil in that pan because we're going to do something in the pan. All right. That's the Brussels sprouts. We gotta drown them in something. Yeah, everyone's saying yucky, butter, garlic, bacon, yeah, all that stuff, that stuff. We just gotta, Catherine Caswell, no way. Brussels sprouts rock my world. Who are you, Catherine? What planet did you come from? That's like, that's like someone saying they, you know, they like to take a bath with kryptonite to Superman. It's just not on. Brussels sprouts are the best, Pat. Oh my God, Amy, what's up? What's going out? What's going on? All this Brussels sprout love going on here. Trish, Brussels sprouts are yucky. Thank you, Trish. Yeah. Sue Miller, I love Brussels sprouts. Your band. Pop them in the microwave a few minutes. Okay. All right. We're gonna do. We'll do something like that. All right. I'll go to the fridge. We'll get the butter out. Sounds like we're gonna be needing the butter. All right. While they're in the pot, getting soft and hopefully edible. What we're gonna do is schnitzels, all right? Um, so you can either buy schnitzels from the from the butcher or you can make them yourself. We're gonna make them ourselves. I've got a special little way of making snitties. So got some nice little nice little bits of meat here. There's a few little bits of fat on. I'm gonna gonna take the fat off. Oh I just cut me thumb. Look. I'm an idiot. Can't be cutting your thumb when you're cooking meat. All right, I need a little band aid because we don't want to bleed on the meat. Give me, hang on, just get the band aid. There's been lots of people who've been coming up to me at gigs saying, "Oh, we really like watching you watching you cooking, but every time you use the knife, we we kind of get nervous that you're going to cut yourself." <laughs> and I keep saying, "Ah, don't worry, I know what I'm doing." And there we go, the very first 
First cut of the knife pretty much tonight. A slice, a little, just a, it's only a little nick. You know, it's only like a little tiny little thingy. But you gotta put that on there so it's not gonna, all right. You shouldn't bleed over the meat now. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right, so we're going to cut the little, can you see? We're going to cut the little, the big bits of fat off, you know, the, the main chunky bits of fat. We're going to get rid of that. Right. Just like that. There we go. Not too, we don't have to be too uh, crazy on it. So, we've had fun so far. Where were we last week? We were at Wagga and Kinross Woolshed. The Milestones Tour, great, great shows, great fun. Uh, people are still coming out to the shows. This week, tomorrow, Mackay, we're going up to Queensland. Going up to central Queensland, Mackay. Which, well, Mackay's probably almost north, isn't it? And then out, out west to Emerald on Friday night. And the Great Western Hotel in Rocky on Saturday night. Milestones Tour. Keep rolling on. But before we do that, I'm gonna cook Brussels sprouts and schnitties. <laughs> so I like to break them up into bits like this. Little schnitties. Yeah. Look at that. That'd be good for some dog. Some dogs or cats would love that. So I'll put that aside for throw that in the bin. I don't have to do it that. Anyway. Alright. So, um, that's ready. The way the, my, the way I make my breadcrumbs is with real bread. So I've got my fancy machine here. Have a look over here. Look at this. Now that's a mothership. It's very complicated because it's got all these attachments. Um, and you twist things on and off and, you know, like this. She goes right. So we're gonna make our breadcrumbs. Just throw the big chunks of bread in here. Like that. Because we want, we don't want the breadcrumbs just to be a really thin layer on the outside. We want the breadcrumbs to be a major part of, of it. If you're gluten intolerant, this is probably not a very good very good dish for you. Sorry. Gluten, gluten, the gluten free thing's becoming a thing, isn't it? Alright, so I'll put this back on. I don't know what this that's for. I don't know what that's for either. Oop, there it goes. Right. Look at that. Good. Tara Lee need a thermo mix, is that right? <laughs> uh, well, if I need a therm anyone needs a thermo mix, speak to Tara. She's on there, just press the button. Now, uh, the gluten free bread. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's looking pretty good. So look at our, look at our breadcrumbs, nice and big and fluffy. It's warm. All right, all right, so that's our breadcrumbs done. We're gonna stick them into a big bowl. Just get them in there. Da -da -da. All right. Thank you. Falling down. As long as this lead's got a mind of its own. Stay there. Damn thing. Alright, here we go. Back here. 
Danny's Danny Peel's having snitties and veg. I like your style. But are you having Brussels sprouts? Please turn the PowerPoint off, Marie. Okay. I let me me little things come off. I need another band-aid. Hang on. This one's coming off. Uh, G'day, Buttons. Jessica's having spaghetti tonight. Stuff the Brussels sprouts. I hear you, but I'm not backing down. We're gonna make the Brussels sprouts work. How's this work? Oh, I'm trying to take the wrong side. Oh, it's a clear one. Okay, here we go. That should keep, that should keep the thumb together. <clears throat> All right, so, snitties. Just some flour, just some basic self-raising flour. First in there, oh, I forgot to tell the other part. All right, um, eggs. So I've got, I've got three snitties, so I've got three eggs in here. Just get a fork, give them a little, a little mix up. Doesn't have to be really, really good. A little bit of milk, only a little bit, and I've just got this little thing here, so. A little bit of milk, and then we're gonna put some pepper. Some pepper, yeah. And so it should look, look like that. There's our little mix. Hopefully that's enough. So there we go. Brandy, make the band-aids a bit tighter. I don't think it's, it's all right now. Good. All right, okay. All right, so basically we go into the flour, into the egg, and then we're gonna go into you know, this mix. All right, one last thing, we're gonna put in our breadcrumbs. Parsley, I just got this out of my garden, so it's fresh. Mm, smells good. Just a little bit of fine chopped parsley. There we go. Okay. We're going to put that into our breadcrumbs. There's one more secret ingredient to go into the breadcrumbs. And that is crumbs and cheese. So, open it up. Parmesan, grated parmesan, shredded, grated, whatever you want to do. I'm putting about half that packet in, because it's good. All right. And mix it up like this. So you can see that breadcrumb starting, starting to look chunky and interesting. Not just, you know, not just like sawdust. You know, a lot of that, you buy breadcrumbs in a box, and I know it's easy, but it's, I don't know, this, this is gonna taste good because the parmesan's gonna melt, and get little bits of green parsley, little flashes of, flashes of freshness in there. Right, there we go. I did, I brought a mallet to, uh, to bang this meat, but it's sort of, uh, it's pretty tender. So we'll give it a little, just give it a little bump, a little bump. Party Down Under video is out on CMC. Thank you, CMC. They're playing it. And um, if you come to the shows, we have got brand new pink chick singlets with um, Party Down Under. It's not, it's not naughty, not cheeky. It's just the name of the song. Uh, Party Down Under is on the new singlets. So anyway, you can check that out. They will be on the online merch shop in a couple of days. Okay, can you see everything there? 
Smash both sides, Brandy. Thanks, Amanda. I did. I turned, just turned it over. Thank you. All right, so here we go. Get rid of our fork. There, into the flour. So there it is, just floured into the egg. Okay, like that. And then into our bread mix. Now this is gonna be really, really chunky. Chunky and sort of messy, you know? It's gonna be beautiful. Chunky and messy. Look at this. Huh? Cool, huh? All right. We might as well do these other bits while we're here. Um, what I love about these snitties is that they're really good to eat the next day on sandwiches or even just like midnight snack. Get up in the middle of the night and you know, just have them cold. Third one, into the flour. Into the flour, both sides, into the egg. There we go. It's messy, but it's good. Make a mess. Okay. Look at that. Big you got big chunks of fluffy bread on there. And you sort of pat it on, you know, like that. Look at that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna start heating up the pan because we're gonna start cooking them. Now Brussels sprouts are floating. They're floating, I'm guessing that means that they're ready probably, eh? Alright. Uh, Sneedy. That, just need it here. Okay, on the pan, heat up that oil. All right, let's do these last strips of our, of our fillet. Into the egg, into the bread. And just, just put it in there and just like, just roll it over. Get as much as you can on there. Flour again, into the egg, into the egg, and then, oh, what else? Um, did the echo the other week. I don't know if anyone was there, or many, well, I know there's plenty of people there, but I don't know if anyone was watching here and tonight was there, but the echo was so much fun. The horse guy, Dave Merchant. Wow, what a, what a legend. Those guys, those guys who played Tonto and um, uh, you know Lone Ranger and all the all the crew there, what they were doing, those horses, it's amazing. All right, uh, that's the last bit. Gee, I'm making a mess this time. You can see our crumbs. It's starting to get a bit of the you know the egg on there. It's getting more. That's oh, looking good. Look at that. Oh yeah. Get as much as we can on there. Cake it on. <laughs> How good does that look? All right, put this on the side. I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, pan's going. I think our brussels are done, so I'm gonna turn turn them off and drain them. Wait, drain them out. Here's our Brussels sprouts. I mean, they smell funny. They don't, it doesn't smell like cabbage. I like cabbage. I don't know, it smells like a combination of grass and bark or something. You know, it doesn't sound, smell like something you should be eating, but we're going to overcome that. All right, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll do that very, very soon. We'll start the pan for the Brussels, for the sprouties. All right, olive oil. Olive oil for our schnitties. Olive oil for the sprouts. And there we go. Have I forgotten anything? No. I right. want to come closer. Uh, here we go. Come closer there. Can you see there? All right. Here we go. Got my little, got my little baby tongs and snitties in. We're going to put one, one of the flat middle pieces. And then one of the long pieces. Okay. 
ही है Yeah, the breadcrumbs, because they're big fluffy breadcrumbs, they are going to soak up a fair bit of the oil. Okay, so it doesn't matter. You can just just, just put it in there. Don't be too scared of the oil. All right? Especially if you use extra virgin olive oil. Too. All right, sprouts time. All right, a lot of people were saying butter. So I've got the butter. I've got butter. I've got garlic. Put you back here. This whole place is a mess. I've got breadcrumbs from, I was gonna say from ear roll to, to my toes, but <laughs> you know. All right, so bacon, all right. Everything's better with bacon. This has gotta help. If this isn't gonna save, if this doesn't save the Brussels sprouts, nothing is will ever save them. So bacon, get rid of that. Garlic. Oh, the garlic. So, there we go. Chop up some garlic, chop up some bacon. So, garlic, bacon, butter. Is there anything else we can put in there that'll basically make us feel like we're not having Brussels sprouts? <laughs> okay, garlic's in. Garlic's in. Bacon. Yeah, I do the whole thing with when you you hold it down and you put your thing like your knuckles there so you don't chop your your fingers off. But I must have just been you know off in fairyland, which off of the pixies before. All right, chop up this bacon. And put that in the pan with the with the garlic. If this doesn't save these Brussels sprouts. Nothing will. All right, that's that. We've got the butter. All right. And what else are we doing? Hickory smoked bacon, Beck. Carol Messenger, Brussels sprouts are awesome. Oh, there's some funny people in this world. All right, here we go. So we've got the bacon, garlic cooking. Yeah, Snitty's going. Let's see how Snitty's going. Oh, you got to look at this. You got to come check out this. All right, look at that, Snitty's. Watch this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Turn it over. I can hear ya. That's a good looking Snitty. We don't cook it on too high either, because we don't want we don't want the to burn, you know, the, the crust and the crumb. And we've got to give time for the and because the because the um the crumb is so thick, it's gonna take a little bit longer for the for the heat to get to the meat. So we want to cook it a little slower. You don't want you know, you don't want the inside to be raw and the crisp outside to be burnt. So we'll put that low. Alright. Brussels sprouts, Trudy. Yep, I'm with you. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right. Here's our bacon, and it's looking pretty good. All right. In with the sprouts. In with the little green orbs of death. That's their name, there. Yeah. Green. All right. And get some butter, eh? I can't dig the butter out of my big knife. <laughs> while holding this at the same time. Oh, I'll just put it on here. All right, big lump of butter. And what about some pepper? Let's give it a bit of zing. Let's do some zing, zing, zing. All right, here we go. Let's stick that back on there. Let that cook for a bit. Go back to our snitties. Oh, they're looking good, looking good. Oh. Turn it off, instead of on. Okay. Brussels sprouts. It smells good, but that's 
Alright. I know it's just the bacon and the butter and stuff that's making it smell good. I'm going to swap these over because we want this cooking slower for the snitty. And the snitty is getting very close. Any other suggestions on the, um, don't forget salt brandy. What, on the, on the Brussels sprouts? It'll, will it need salt because it's got, add cheese. There's already cheese in the breadcrumb, there's parmesan. Um, you, you keep the bacon, garlic, add onion, throw the Brussels sprouts in the bin. <laughs> I think there's enough, there should be enough salt in the bacon to, uh, to help out in the salt department. All right. We're almost there, so I'm just gonna get a plate. Get the plate. I made a mess here, but anyway, doesn't matter. Right. Well, let's look at it. Good. Now she is almost done. Come on, look. Cut sprouts in half. I did that. Alright. Oh, look at that. You see that? They're, they're done. Sneedies, sneedies are done. All right. I'll put them there. All right. Sneedies are here. We're going to put them on our plate. There's one. Look at that. Come here, little slippery little sucker. Okay, here we go. Sneeze down. Right. I have actually never, ever in my entire existence and life cooked Brussels sprouts. Because mum used to cook them. And she used to boil them and put them on the plate and expect you to eat them, right? And they were terrible. Mum's probably watching. <laughs> um, so... I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna throw caution to the wind. I'm putting gar I'm putting some of the bacon in there as well. They am getting mushy. Alright, so that's it. That's it, they're done. And if they're not good this time. Now we'll... there we have it. So let's try it. Let's see if we have success or we're bombed. Nitty and the world's worst fetch. We start with the good stuff first, right? You know, when you're a kid, you eat, you eat the good stuff first, you leave the bad stuff at, at, the, at the end. Hopefully that everyone will forget and they're already up doing dishes and then you can you can just like play around with it and then just off the side of the plate. All right, here we go. Snitty. So much better than the bread from the box. Fluffy, you can taste the cheese. Mmm, 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 mmm. Bit of crumb flew off, hit me in the head. That is good. All right, here we go. Brussels sprout time. I'm doing this so you don't have to. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a cross between grass clippings, bark, bacon, a bit of butter, and a little bit of garlic. Marginally better than when mum used to make them. Marginally. But not by a big margin. <laughs> I'm gonna have a heap of bacon. I'll try that one last time. Heap of bacon. Let's see if that helps. Huh? There's just something about them. Tastes like I'm chewing on a bit of bark. Anyway. Oh. It is a bit better. I gotta, you know, be quite honest, it is a bit better, you know. But um anyway. So basically, we'll just um so we've eaten our Brussels sprouts, alright? And they were delicious, by the way. 
And now we're just gonna finish off with this nitty. Anyway. <laughs> What's that, Brack? I'm getting a bit thin on top. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Hope to see you soon. Out on the road. Milestones tour. Um, when I come home, I'm looking for things to cook. If you've got some ideas, let me know. Um, I'll attempt anything, even stuff that I'm clearly not very good at cooking. But this schnitzel, this schnitzel is a winner. All right, have a great night, everybody. Central Queensland, Mackay, Emerald, Rockhampton. We'll see you tomorrow, next day, this weekend. And um, yeah, see you soon.